Hey, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Welcome to my channel. I'm Darius. Today, we're going to talk about sugar cane. Stay until the end of this video, and I'm going to tell you all you need to know about sugar cane and its importance to the economy of the Dominican Republic. The history of sugarcane begins in New Guinea more than 3,000 years ago. From New Guinea, sugarcane was taken to India. Then from India, it was taken to uh, Portugal. In uh, Portugal, sugarcane was then taken to Spain. The Spaniards brought sugarcane to America in 1493. In the Dominican Republic, where we are, sugarcane was brought by Christopher Columbus in the second voyage to this island. It was first planted in 1501 and in 1505, for the first time, sugar was made. Sugar was made locally. It was consumed locally in 1516, then it was planted, and a year after, it produced sugar in the south of the country. It was in 1517 when the first sugar refinery was built in the Dominican Republic. In 1518, African slaves were brought to America to be used in sugarcane fields because the indigenous we had weren't capable of doing this job. So, indigenous disappeared in less than a century, and the Africans continue to do the job. Nowadays, sugarcane is one of the most important products grown in the Dominican Republic. Okay, I am in one of the fields owned by Central Romana Corporation. It's the biggest sugar refinery company, company in the Dominican Republic. And one of these employees that work for the company will explain to me how sugarcane is planted. Entonces, ¿cómo se planta la caña de azúcar? Enséñeme. Okay, so he says that is horizontally that is planted. Y cuánto crece más o menos cuando está lista? Cuántos metros? How many meters? Combien metro? Combien metros a pus? Huit metros. Eight meters. It grows when it's red. And then, what do we use to cut it? ¿Qué se usa para cortar la caña de azúcar acá? ¿Qué es que uno utiliza? Ocupe de la caña de azúcar. De la machete. Machetes is what we use to cut. We're gonna move later to show you how they cut sugar cane. Okay? Combien moyen vous gagnez uh, par jour? How, how, how much? How much money you get paid in, in a daily basis? How, ma how much money? Combien, combien? How, many, how much money? Combien d'argent? Uh, not much. What, what is, que es poca cosa? Si, diga, dígame la verdad. Tell me the truth. Pero, pero mayormente cuánto gana? Mil y pico de pesos. He says about a thousand pesos, which is like less than twenty dollars a day. How many hours a day do you work? ¿Cuántas horas al día trabaja? Hasta a las seis, a veces hasta las ocho. Ah, ¿cuántas horas? ¿Qué hora comienza? When do you start? A las siete. Seven a.m. They start and trabajan hasta las ocho de la noche. Sí. And they stay until sometimes seven, eight p.m. So that's more than twelve hours a day, more or less. Más o menos diez, doce horas al día. ¿Ustedes dónde son todos? Where are you from? Originally, ¿de dónde vienen originalmente? Porque a veces dicen los bateis de regalo. Ustedes viven en bateis. Okay, so they live in bateis. I'm gonna show you what is a batey later. Y ustedes viven aquí en los bateis. Sí. ¿Tú naciste acá? Were you born here? ¿Tú naciste acá? No. Oh, en Haití. So you're Haitians, right? Okay, muy bien. Y estos bueyes, ¿para qué se utiliza? What do you we use those oxen for? Aquí, aquí está romana. De Central Romana. Okay, film this. Central Romana is the name of the company they work for. These old fields that we see are owned by Central Romana Corporation. So they use this oxen for pulling the wagons until the place sugar cane is waiting. I'm going to show you that later. So we continue with uh, sugar cane field. Stay tuned and don't lose not even a second of these uh, information that would be really interesting. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how these people cut sugar cane. Take a look. Enseñeme como se corta la caña. Okay. Entonces usted la, usted la limpia ahí. You clean it, right? So this sugar cane has been cut with a machete. It's a tool these people use. Rarely ever we use machines in these sugar cane fields. From here, this sugar cane is gonna go to a wagon. I'm going to show you that, that wagon later, okay? Muchas gracias. After sugar cane is cut, then it is transported with this oxen into a way station. We're gonna move later to the way station. Look at this oxen, and they're going to get a wagon filled up with sugar cane.
Combien de tonnes là-bas? Quantas toneladas? How many tons? Three tons in this in this wagon. Three tons. So it, it fills three tons in here. Hmm? Cuánto cuánto se toma para cuánto cuántas horas? How many hours? Cuántas horas para llenar uno así? Don't know? I watch nueve gente. Nueve gente. He says nine people work there to fill this three tons. Hey. Now I am located in the place where the sugar cane is wait to be transported to the sugar refinery. I'm gonna show you the process. Dame cuarto, he says, give me money. Termina, <laughs> termina. I'm telling them to finish a job. Cuando termine. I need to know first. And I need to see it. Tengo que verlo primero. Yeah, dale, pa' ver. Go, go. Show me. Muéstrame. Okay. Look at this. I am right now located at one of these uh, areas where sugarcane is weight, and I am with the person that is in charge of this job. What is your name? Jose. Jose Jan. Jose Jan. Okay, his name is Jose Jan. Este es el lugar donde se pesa la caña, verdad? Here is where sugarcane is weight. ¿Cuántas toneladas más o menos en uno de estos vagones? How many tons in one of these wagons? ¿Cuántas toneladas? De 25 y 26. 25 to 26 tons. De aquí a donde se transporta. Where does he go from here? A Central Roman. To Central Romana Corporation, the place where sugar is made. Very good. Muy bien. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. So I am right now driving around the houses where the workers who cut sugar cane live. It's very important to remark that most, most of these workers are, are Haitians. And uh, Haitians are provided homes so kids can live and work. Uh, you can see over there, Abate is a church. I believe it's a, uh, what type of uh, church is that? Oh, it's a Protestant church. Protestant church. We can see driving around the Bateyes, as a name for this place where the Haitians live. You can see how they hang the clothes outside after washed. And the conditions here are not the best, but still they live and a little bit better than what they do when in Haiti, for example. All of them are provided homes, they stay here, they live here, legal or illegal in the Dominican Republic. Continue driving and showing you a little bit of history of sugar and sugar cane in the Dominican Republic. Take a look. We have over here, the school where the children attend to the children of sugarcane workers. Escuela Primaria Batey Las Cejas. The name of this school is Elementary School Batey Las Cejas. Batey, the name of this 
beautiful area where we are now. It is a public school. Today, of course, when this video was filmed, was Sunday, so kids are at home. Eating this delicious sugar cane, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. I wanna thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, please subscribe to my channel. And we're gonna upload more videos like this in the near future. So we say hasta la vista and next time. Adios.